he's been hurt before. He doesn't want to... No, no, he's just stupid. He's as stupid as a sponge. <laughs> but... Now, I don't know what men are guilty of because I'm standing in the wrong place to judge that. No man. <laughs> Thanks for laughing. you do that? Yeah, I know that laugh. That laugh is a notice me laugh. So, no, don't, don't you turn that camera on her. That's, ex that's exactly what she wants. So don't do it. Turn that camera around here. Give me that camera. Here. Get it over here. Take charge of this ship, no one will. <laughs> this is good. Uh, this is the wedding video camera. That we have. Uh, we'll take a break for uh, commercials when we come back. High quality television, just not on this network. <laughs> with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Kia Motors and the all-new 2011 Sporting, the perfect crossover for the road ahead. Your car. 
don't park there, and here it was actually spelled wrong. Now Judy spells it out for him. If you were a thinking man, who would you think that would have been? Me. Well, I'm a thinking girl. Next Judge Judy. Tomorrow at 4 and 4.30 on Chiron 7. Monday the 9th of August. You know what they say about Monday the 9th of August? They say, it is a great day for America! That's what Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. I'll tell you why it's a great day for America. Because today is the birthday of a great American hero. That's right, Smokey the Bear is 66 years old today. Yes! He can't hear you. Anyway, he's partially dead. <laughs> so the first Smokey... <laughs> I was trying to do Smokey the Bear going, oh, there, no, no. I didn't really commit to it. I was like, ah, man. Anyway, it was on... Uh, the first Smokey the Bear poster uh, debuted this day, 1944. So happy birthday, Smokey. Now, I've said this before, though, kids. If you're in the forest and you actually see a bear wearing a ranger hat, it's because he ate the ranger. So it's dangerous. Smokey's getting old, but he still looks good for his age. Have you, have you seen the, the, the latest Smokey the Bear poster? Let's see it. There you are. Put that in my cubic goal, will you? <laughs> There's another big anniversary today. Do you know it was on this day in 1173? Yeah, that's right. I love it. The construction began on the leaning tower of Pisa, which... Did you hear that? I think it was a ghost. You didn't hear it? No, you guys hear it? I took a lot of drugs. Not tonight. I just have somebody cough over there. It was almost as if the people backstage had come to life. Anyway, it was on this day in 1173, construction began on the Leaning Tower of Pisa, which was named after the town in which it was built, of course, the town of Leaning in Italy. <laughs> the Pisa, Grand Central Italy, it was never supposed to be called the Leaning Tower. I mean, the Italian architects would go, Hey, let's build a tower that leans over. It'll be crazy. We'll build it. Why don't we build it? No, build it or lean over like this. <laughs> That's right, Italian architects run about that time and like to talk like Super Mario. Anyway, the tower, the tower leans like that because it's built on a crappy foundation. And then they put, no, that's true, and then they put, uh... Just trying to tell you the truth! Then, then they put, uh, they, on top of the soil, in the, the soil on top of the foundation, it was even crappier, which, uh, it's, I mean, it's stupid, it makes a bit as much sense as, um, building a giant city on a major earthquake fault. That's what it, Oh, oh. Oh, oh, 
was on an earthquake. Oh, uh, Jeff Parker. <laughs> Pretend I'm not here. <laughs> it's impossible you're so far away. <laughs> I just said the skeleton part. The show won a Peabody Award. <laughs> Anyway, in honor of the Leaning uh, Tower uh, of Pisa, tonight is our Salute to Bad Architecture. Do we have a graphic for that, do we? <laughs> you're, not, you're not helping by applauding. It's like we don't even try anymore. Now, the Leaning Tower of Pisa uh, actually started leaning during, during its construction. They were built in there, and then the third floor, they were on the third floor when someone's like, hey. <laughs> How come my tussy pussy ice cream are dripping on the floor? He's a rolling down here. And then they were shocked when they discovered the, the tower wasn't straight. Just like I was when I heard about Ricky Mark. <laughs> what? He's been dodging you there. I want... You mentioned that I kind of thought. No, I did. When I heard about Ricky Martin, I was like, nah, come on. He's like, he's getting like that too on the nose. I think it's too on the nose. And then, then I'm like, oh no, he said it himself. So I guess, <laughs> guess he is. It was a surprise to me. Anyway, well, the lean tower pizza. Anyway, so they built it. And then they stopped the construction of the tower. And then they didn't touch it for about 300 years. And what happened was, no, a hundred years. It wasn't three hundred years. Oh, that's laugh at me because I said three hundred years. Ah ha ha ha! Craig, I happen to know it was a hundred years, not three hundred years. Ah ha ha! You know nothing about Italian architecture from the eleventh century. Ah ha ha! <laughs> Hated during the summer that college kids come in here with their knowing about things. Judging me, a high school dropout. <laughs> anyway, they didn't work on the tower. Look, all of my knowledge comes from Wikipedia, I really admit. Anyway, it was about 100 years they didn't work on the tower. And then what happened, the, people say that the architects say that this allowed the soil to settle. And that's why the, the tower didn't fall over. This is the same principle as Joan Rivers. So what they do is they... Now... I'm doing it. I'm doing it. As soon as I can. As soon as I find the right doctor. Sexy. Thank you, Jeffrey. A little bit of support. They've been so negative the whole time. Right. Yes. Sometimes I think you're my only friend here, Jeff. This is fun. <laughs> Do you know who was uh, born in Pisa in Italy? Galileo, who invented the telescope. He invented the telescope, then five minutes later he invented spying on his neighbour. <laughs> but he, he used that tower in science experiments. He, he, he wanted to prove that heavy objects fall at the same time as light objects, so he dropped two cannonballs, each a different weight, off the leaning tower of Pisa. Yeah. <laughs> as I get older, I find myself doing a similar experiment. <laughs> What I'm saying is... Well, let me, let me, so that was a round of applause because my balls are falling. Yeah? Oh, yeah. It only encourages him. No, knock it off. I tell you, sometimes I think the audience is just here to... They're clap happy. That's what it is. And they just judge me and laugh at me for not knowing about the Leaning Tower of Pisa. <laughs> and, then, and then they start to leave. <laughs> what the hell, man? Did, did somebody nod off? <laughs> Look, on the plus side, it can only get better. 